I'm Jack, just so you know, you are coming back Edmonton after this poet, but London, who are you sending up? Give me something. It's a translated poem, and it is going to be by Ted. Give it up for Ted. The longest message that I ever wrote said goodbye. Now, I know it sounds like a simple seven letter word, but it took me over a decade to chisel each one of those letters into the base of my spine before I could even consider contemplating thinking about saying it out loud. Because you, well, you were the reflection of the clouds across the river. At first glance, absolute magic. But upon closer inspection, it became apparent that you were just a projection of what you wanted the world to see you as, instead of in what you actually are rise to the surface. You couldn't see that the river is fucking beautiful. And I certainly wouldn't have dove in head first if I knew you were that shallow. See, I ended up broken inside, my heart hemorrhaging till every crevice was full, every organ drowning, and I was left choking, suffocating on a love I was unable to pronounce, cause it never really fit into your life, did it? Love. You always said love just ties you down, and you? You couldn't be tied down. You had to be free. You had to be able to run and jump and skip. You always had to be moving. You could never stop moving, cause every time you stop moving, you started thinking about how much you hate this world you've created. And you just want to be yourself for a day. So I took your daydreams and I pressed them up against your nightmares, hoping to be a spot for me and the reality they're going to see through the cracks in my fingers. Instead, I was pushed to the furthest, darkest corner of your shadow, living off the dying fires of my hope until the day came where I just gave up, started dancing in the ashes, kicking up sparks, and one of those sparks cut the back of your mask, and the band broke, and the mask fell, and I was left face to face with the realization I've just been standing here talking to myself. So consider this my apology letter to the world. A goodbye note to the person I wanted everybody to think I was. I don't need this mask anymore because there is not a single part of me that deserves to be hidden. Yes! So goodbye to all the clothes that never hung properly on my frame. Goodbye to music that would make my ears bleed. Goodbye to slang that never tasted right in my mouth. Goodbye to places that never felt like home. Goodbye to friends who were only there when they needed me. Because I am not the reflection of the clouds. I am the river, and I am fucking beautiful. Yeah!